Well, hi everybody, and welcome to the Moodle 2.3 videos for Fall 13. This is video number three for students, and we are continuing in the student guide. Okay, in the student guide, let's come down to where all of those tabs are in the center section, about halfway down the page, and find the one on the right that says Format Features. Give it a click, and this is going to give you an idea what to expect when you click on things. There's not a whole lot of content here because these are just samples, but for example, our top item is a sample syllabus, and it's going to produce a PDF document for you, and this is important. We do have some difficulty with Word and Moodle because of all of the XML code that the Word program contains. Your best bet for ultimate success in uploading information to your faculty members and for your class is to save your material as a PDF. If you need more help with that, contact the help desk or stop by the Moodle office and we're happy to show you in detail how to do that. PDFs work exceptionally well with all of the different mobile formats and uh, different operating systems that are out there. They're very, very flexible. So again, upload PDFs. Help you get a better grade because you're not worried about your material being received. Talking about grades, let's go to the left-hand column in the settings area. And in settings, we see the grades. Give it a click. And as a student, when you see your view, your view will be a user report. And this is a sample. Each of those blue boxes is a category. For example, if writing is worth 25%, uh, it'll contain all of your writing material. There may or may not be percentages or letter grades. This is all left up to your faculty member to determine. I do need to remind you that Moodle is not mandatory for grades. Faculty may use any grading method they wish, and it's best to check your syllabus for information. In addition to the user report, uh, right under that big tab that says View, there's also the Overview report. Let's give that a click. The user report shows this class. The overview report shows the overall grade total for each of the classes. So this is useful information. Come up to the top in that green bar on the upper left hand corner and notice it says overview report. Let's scroll back and find student guide give it a click, and that'll take you back to the main page. Now, a lot of people are in the habit of going all the way up in the upper left-hand corner and using the back arrows. Here's a little tip. The back arrows work most of the time. Breadcrumbs work all of the time. Make your choice. I'm sticking with the breadcrumbs. In one of our earlier videos, I mentioned Metacourses and CRNs, or Course Registration Numbers. I've made a screenshot, and in our first example of an economics class, this is a regular class with the CRN, and I've crudely drawn a little circle around it. It's excellent idea to always know the CRN when you have to call Moodle with a problem. Now, if you have a meta course, which is a combination of a number of courses sharing a single cell, very useful if you have like a number of English classes all taught by the same professor. How would you know if you're in a meta course? Well, on this slide, we see it says meta course and usually the professor's name. So when you call Moodle with the problem, please take that extra 30 seconds and determine is it a meta course or what is the CRN. And finally, I mentioned formats. Through the magic of video, we're going to show you a topics format. Here's an example of that in one of our sample classes. And now here is a weekly class. For those of you who have never seen it, uh, it's good to know the difference. If you've seen it all before, bear in mind there are different themes or ways the course will appear and there are different layouts in the new Moodle. And finally, we've added a video below this one in the listing in the student guide. You'll see it, video number four. It's called Drag and Drop. Uh, that's a good way to get material into Moodle. It's a self-contained production, so I'd urge you to take uh, two or three minutes and look that one over when you have time. Between now and then, stop into Library 315. Uh, we're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and we're happy to have you come in 
and get you started. Thank you.